Mirror, mirror. What is the happiest memory? None of them with this game. <laughs> time spent with precious companions. Wait! Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't, 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 don't. I'm, not, I'm not even gonna look at chat the whole time I react to this, I think. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> this looks a lot like Pina! This looks a lot like Pina! I don't know, I don't, I don't know if I like where this is going. That looks too much like Pina! This is uncomfortable! I also don't recognize anyone else. I've seen this before, but I don't know who it is. Um, so I'm assuming a lot of them aren't new, but I don't like that this looks like Pina! <laughs> they cannot bring that type of pain back, that's illegal! What is the most beautiful existence? Oh, I'm nervous. Also, this song is gorgeous. I'm so fucking excited! Who is the most beautiful person it's, it's in Cinderella. this world? It's, it's, it's you. being corrupted. <gasps> Maybe they rescued her somehow. They got her out of it. Like, they, they did mention in a past event that the whole time Anika is corrupted. They're actually conscious and they understand what's happening. They know what's happening, but they can't do anything to stop it. And maybe maybe they found a way to get her out of it and like bring her back. I don't know. We'll find out. Also, what do you, what do you mean? No, it's important to the plot. The feet are not important to the fucking plot. <laughs> Glass slippers. Full contact. Oh, I like her boots. A lot. Her 3D model is really nice. I hope we get into MMD. With you looking Aww. after me. But that that that's too uncanny. There's no fucking way that's not Pina. I'm calling it now, and I'm I'm gonna. Oh no, we're gonna suffer. We're gonna suffer so hard with this event. Oh god. The worst part is if that is Pina, Pina becomes a mass-produced Nikkei. That that hurts. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it at all. Um. So uh. We'll, we'll see where that goes. Uh, the thing that I really like about the anniversary events, too, is that they always tend to focus on the pilgrims. And I really thoroughly enjoy the pilgrims. Everything about the pilgrims is incredible. I, I think ever since I first saw Overzone, that was my main introduction to the pilgrims because I was very behind in the story when it came out. So Overzone, I went into not knowing anything about the characters. And same with Red Ash. Like, I hadn't met um, at Red or um, Lily Weiss or anything yet. It was my first time getting to see, like, a lot of the people. And so far, every anniversary has consistently been up there with, like, my absolute favorite characters. And the fact that this one is focusing on a new group, I'm so excited to have my, them absolutely steal my heart. Um, especially because I, I already was, like, slightly down bad for Cinderella during... Yeah. <laughs> And, and we, we were begging. Listen, we were fucking begging for her. And now we finally get her, so that's really exciting. Um, I'm excited to learn more about her, get to see her, get to hear more about her. Her voice is so nice. Yeah, who isn't? That's so fair. <laughs> um, I'm going to put my game audio back on, though, because other than just reacting to the trailer, which is mostly new stuff, there is a couple other things that I wanted to talk about as well um, with the game. Um, it's, it's all anniversary stuff. I wanted to talk about a few of the things that I know were safe for me to discuss um, and look at. Um, I'll probably just pick this whole section, I guess, because I can't react to the live stream and virtual kids. <laughs> um, okay, so there's one thing already. One, there's like a million CD keys. So if you want to get free shit um, before the anniversary, make sure you don't miss any of them. I haven't used a single one yet, so I'm going to have to remember. Um, what else? I'm sorry, I'm just singing Lumen's song. Um, 
there's this this which is the theme song um it was announced that the singer will be yama i'm not familiar with yama but from how a lot of people reacted i'm assuming that's a very big deal <laughs> um, I like how she's talking about the story. Like, I guess, I guess they know, they know a lot of stuff about the story. Mm. Yeah, the voice sounds really nice, so I'm excited to see it. It's so, I mean, there's five codes? Nice. Mm. That's true, Nikkei Worldview does hold a lot of dark things in light. That's why I really like it. Whoa, the dark side through the song? So the theme song is going to focus on more of the darker elements. Let's go! They're giving us 900 gems, 10 common tickets, 2 synchro slots. Nice! They're really going all out. Uh, she did Spy Family second ending. Nice! Mm. A human fairy tale written among the stars. I really like the name of the song, so I'm really excited to hear it. I really enjoy narrative songs that focus on like fairy tales and stories and stuff. The song is called Origin. I wonder if we're learning some like really early lore stuff now. That makes sense! Because Red Ash is the furthest we've gone back in time so far. We've been going, we've been going back in time every anniversary event so far. Kind of. Not really. Crowns didn't go back further in time. But otherwise they have. We started with Overzone and then Red Ash was the, like the prequel to Overzone. And now this one is the prequel to Red Ash potentially. It might not be, it might be in the future, just featuring the same characters after they're already corrupted, but I don't know. It's interesting. We'll get to learn we'll get to learn a little more about it when it's out. <laughs> I do wanna play it very close to when it launches, because I wanna avoid spoilers. So I will be playing it very quickly once it's out. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, the song is called Origin by Yama. It's um, I don't dislike it, but it's not like the genre of music that I typically really like. It's like a specific type of like J-Rock, uh, somewhere between J-Rock and J-Pop that I don't really personally listen to a lot of. I find the songs sound a little bit too busy for my tastes, but I know that's a really popular style that a lot of people really like. So I'm excited. I'm excited for everyone else who's going to really love it. I might, be, I might want to make like a ballad version of it or something like with the piano. Just kind of do my own version. That's a little different. Oh. I am interested in hearing the full one when it's out, though. I'm excited. Mm. Yeah, it does sound very anime opening, because this is an artist that does a lot of anime music, right? <laughs> I want to get pictures of the new units as well, because I can talk about that. Oh, yeah, the new character! Um, her name is Abe or Abe. I'm not really sure which one. Um, but the one that looks like Pina is the one who created the second generation of fairy tale models. Which... <laughs> Thank you, Twitter. We are we are getting into the good shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're getting into the good shit. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. There's a video of her as well. Beats me. If I explained it to you, would you even Even understand? the pose and angle is the same as Pina. It has to be. It has to be. It's fun, it's fun theorizing when cooking with this one. Hello, Basachi. I'm good. Um, let me see. Um, I'm trying to go back and then look at some more of the stuff. Oh, yeah. There's some gacha costumes. It doesn't sound like her, but they don't necessarily sound the same once they turn into a Nikkei, right? They don't even necessarily look the same when they become a Nikkei. So I guess it could be maybe a uh, peanut... Could be coincidence, I don't know, but I feel like shit stuff wouldn't do that. They would give us a reason. Hello, Nagamuni. Yeah, I really hope it's Peanut too. That lore. Work is so hard. Um. Oh, I did I not save this right? Oh, it's a fucking web peak. <laughs> uh, we have a gotcha costume. Uh, Scarlet Black Shadow. Uh, it 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 looks really good. You know what I like about this one? It brings back the drunk vibes that my drunk wife was missing when she was no longer, well, I guess before she was drunk. <laughs> no, the way you know her outfit's kind of falling off a bit, she kind of brings back the drunk vibes that I missed 
um, in the older Scarlet. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna get it, specifically because I actually really enjoy her default design, so I don't think I'm gonna get it. I also am trying really hard to never buy costume gacha, <laughs> but I do think it looks really nice. Mm -hmm. And I was really happy seeing it. We're also getting a gacha costume for Cinderella because they really fucking hate us. So <laughs> we're getting gacha costume Cinderella as well, where they made her look like an actual princess. I have to say, this one is more likely to sway me than the Scarlet one. I really like princessy designs. I also thought that the shirt was see-through at first, and I was like, holy moly. Actually, I think it is see-through. Surely the angles and stuff are fine. Surely it's TOS friendly, I, I, I think. <laughs> uh, maybe the lace is like just big enough and positioned right enough that it's fine. Anyway, I like her cat mouth. Um, she's really, really cute. I'm excited. I like her little crown. I'm very biased. You look at my head. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of look like her, actually. <laughs> I, I'm debating using my live 2D for the anniversary event and seeing if I can, like, give myself my twin tails and turn myself into Cinderella. I feel like that could be really, really fun. <laughs> but yeah, she's so gorgeous and cute, and I love her. It wasn't censored on the stream, so it's probably fine. That's the hope, yeah. I figure they know a lot of people stream the game, so they have to, like, toe the line. So it's probably fun. In theory. <laughs> and then we have a free unit. Ahmed said she was coming, but I would have assumed that she was a unit that I could pull. But I guess she's not a pullable unit. Um, She's actually a free unit. We get Rapunzel, pure grace. <laughs> so for all of you have been waiting a really long time, unlike with Scarlet Black Shadow, they're not going to rob us. They're just giving us to her for free. <laughs> we just get her for free. We are so blessed. This is literally for free. <laughs> it's like small white. Yeah. I'm actually really surprised because Rapunzel, they could have made fucking bank on Rapunzel. But instead, they decided to give it for free. Oh, wait. Maybe maybe that's not Pina. Because I thought this one also looked like Pina. Um, So maybe it's a coincidence. Pina's design could have been based on... That's actually possible. They could have based a mass-produced Nikkei on somebody that was famous. Because I thought this one also looked like Abe or Abe or whoever. Um, the hair, it's like a little bit longer. But it kind of looks similar. Um, I don't recognize this character, so I'm gonna look away from chat in case you guys, uh, jump the gun. But <laughs> I'm assuming it's a new character. Either way, uh, she, she has, she has abs with scars. And I, I, I very, very much appreciate the abs with scars. I, I, I am, I am, I am satisfied. Her name is Grave. She's also a pilgrim. She seems really cool. Uh, it kind of looks like she's carrying, like, a coffin on her back. Um, I do not mind at all. Um, she's really cool. So I'm excited to learn more about her. Uh, the first comment I see is, like, a SpongeBob image where it's just licking her abs. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Understandable. Uh, she's coming soon. We don't know which one's going to be first. We know what two of the anniversary pulls are going to be, though. Um... So there's two pilgrims we need to pull for. We are so fucked, fan employees. We're so fucked. <laughs> this is the other one, um, which is Cinderella, obviously. So Cinderella is the unit that we've been waiting for since Red Ash. So that's been really, really exciting. She is so pretty, right? <laughs> She's very like princessy, um, because you know all of the all of the early pilgrims are kind of <laughs> based off um, fairy tales and stuff with their names. And I'm really excited because she's been one of the most popular characters for a long time. Um, and I'm pretty excited to see um, where she ends up going. There's also, I can't find any screenshots or images from it at all. Um, but I can talk about it. Apparently, with a bubble tea place called, um, I think it was, what was it? The Alley or something? I couldn't find it when I googled it. So I'm wondering if you guys were like trolling me. But I can't find anything. It's like, there, there's a bubble tea place I've never heard of before. I think it's called The Alley. And they're doing a collab in Canada and America with um, with Nikkei drinks. I don't actually know anything about it. Like, is it drinks? Is it coasters? Keychains? They're having a couple days at a few locations that are like cosplay pop-ups. But I don't really know what the rest of it is. Um, so we'll have to keep an eye out and learn what that collab is. Um, I'll have to keep an eye out and see if there's any way I can go to one of them and check it out for you guys. <laughs>